performance becomes uh, very, how you say, uh, endangered. They are a dying breed. So we need to find a way of being able to uh, get people interested again in handicraft, in doing this type of work, but maybe for a different market. When you sell a product made uh, in Asia, in Europe, the idea of the people is uh, a cheap product immediately. And in fact, um, it's not for me, it's not a cheap product. If we are here in Philippines, it's because we are looking for know-how. Actually, with the export of uh, export business in general, especially for this kind of uh, handicrafts, these are mostly cottage industries which means that they are being produced in different households. If you look at it, uh, the export uh, business would be able to generate a lot of uh, multiplier effects, down, downstream industries, if you mean, uh, from the raw material gathering, to the processing, to the handing, and then to the shipping. So a lot of people are, and families are involved in export business so that they will be able to generate the necessary income that would also uplift their families, give them a better opportunity in the future. The past 10 years have been really different because a lot of strong players from ASEAN are also now offering good product and service. So being Filipino manufacturers, what we need to find is our niche, I would say in terms of design, quality, and uh, of course the service that we offer to our customers. Yung mga bagong design nyo ngayon, pinag-aaralan pinag namin yan, and then nakakaya din namin na ano. Para sa amin, ma -ano yun, challenging sa amin yung para gusto rin namin ma -ano, kung ano yung kaya ng Ibang bansa, makaya din namin para sa Pilipinas na yun. So we are working with the Filipino people since 15 years uh, with my company. And if I've decided to continue to work with Filipino people, it's because first of all, they are really nice and they are really helpful. Uh, they like to be challenged and uh, it's really, uh, for me, it's really helpful to work with people who understand what are the challenge. And also, uh, it's the, the Filipino people, the craftsmen, are very talented. They really try to understand what we need and how to proceed to succeed to have the final product we would like. This is really helpful for me. When they look at handmade products, they also have to see that they see the soul of the, the people who made these products. It's not something that, is, that came out from the machine and you know, you, you put raw materials in it and it produces products. Each and every worker really put their time and effort to, to perfect, to try to perfect the product. 